इफ यू ऑलरेडी गॉट प्रिपेयर एंड हाइक द फॉर यूजिंग द लिनक्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड यू जस्ट काइंड ऑफ रिली मेक द पार्टीशन इन द विंडोज एंड रिली डूल बोर्ड द सिस्टम बट वेन यू ओपन द टर्मिनल सडनली योर माइंड गेट्स ब्लैंक लाइक द टर्मिनल राइट and you kind of really wonder what can you do with the terminal like and maybe you really start to question the existence and the purpose of why the heck the terminal is in right here so this got this video is all about how you can get started and get pretty comfortable and familiar with the linux terminal shell and the bash system so the next time try to do something else you won't pretty feel left apart so let's get started Hey guys, my name is Rahul Ayer and I am from Pune. So in this video, I just kind of really want to share about how I get started with the Linux, right? So the first operating system of Linux that I really chose to learn was like Parrot OS because I was kind of really interested in uh, understanding Wi-Fi hacking. So it was kind of a decent exercise for me about uh, getting familiar with the command line shell, about understanding of making files. uh understanding about airmon aerodump and all that kind of stuff but the fundamental question really arises that there are so many tutorials out there right and on and especially on udemy you will find the 10 to 15 hours of the linux courses but do you really need to learn that you don't really need to learn that because essentially 90% of the thing is like you won't kind of really doing that stuff and most importantly you might not really enjoy learning things passively so what we are trying to do in this video is just like i will really give you a bunch of assignments right now if you want to learn something this is not something a passive tutorial as well i really show you about how you can just try to enter in uh, figure out the things like if i'll just type the code and you will just copy paste it no it's not that i'll just try to show you what commands you will really end up in using in day to day operations like so let's get started so first for example number one is like when you really get started uh, in, into the terminal you will really want to know that how can you restart or power off the computer so this is the first step that you need to google like like example how to uh, shut down your computer in linux terminal like how to reboot your terminal how to reboot your linux pc in terminal and that kind of stuff so the second step is the basic crud operation the crud operation essentially stands for create read update and delete number one so what you have to do is just kind of create a directory and then move that directory into somewhere else then again delete that uh, directory and vice versa like creating a different directory and second one is like uh, creating another file into it and like and understanding the concepts about wget now what wget is wget is essentially like just like a downloading thing suppose you have something a uh, link of a file and then you just kind of really put a wget and your url link then what the wget will do is essentially fetch that data from the website and just download it into your pc it's nothing nothing fancier but that is what you really can really get end up in using day to day in life and the next thing is like understanding the concept of cat and curl pretty interesting stuff the curl is really uh, advanced networking tool that you can really use for fetching the data and it really uh, works on most of the network protocols that you really uh, encounter on next thing is touch not that touch you want to say touch is essentially a command that you can really just kind of use to create a particular file now mind the difference that making a directory and making a file is complete difference in making a directory we use the command mkdir and the file name or something like that and here if you want to make something like uh, hello world dot python or hello world dot js we will simply use hello touch hello world dot js 
so the next practical stuff that you really i want to know you is about installing the vs code editor and now what's so fancy about it right well the thing is like if you are really uh, using the debian system or basically the ubuntu uh, ubuntu linux linux distros will kind of really you end up in just thing you will really need to uh, depack the file and then you will really have to install it right so you just kind of really do it number one the next step is install the extreme downloader so what you will really do is like if you by downloading the extreme downloader you will learn the concept of what what do you mean by making a file executable right and why linux really works in such a way yeah and the most important thing while downloading is like understanding the concept of root privileges and normal privileges like in in linux operating system especially on comparing to the windows where uh, where we really have the legendary windows installer like when we just click next 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 here you actually need to every time you really need to install some packages you really need to uh, enter the command of sudo packet name and install something like that yeah and the next thing is install your graphics card manually so if you have kind of really nvidia card or amd card on your pc try to update it manually by downloading the package on the official site and then just unpack it and run it in the terminal you will find a plethora of tutorials or uh, instructions on the ask ubuntu or stack exchange or stack overflow so yeah and you also have to really understand about making the file executable so which i have really talked about earlier and also the different types of file compression so in earlier while you while you might be have using windows you might have really encountered with the basic file format compression like zip and rar or rochelle archive so in this category else we really find something else called tar.gz tarball and all that kind of stuff and by understanding it that you will really help your knowledge to grow at your next level and last but not the not the least you have to really understand the importance of the apt package manager so basically what you do in the windows is just kind of get into the uh, website and just download it right so in linux you really have something called an apt apt package manager where essentially what it does really just it is some sort of a repository where you can just centrally download everything and all that kind of stuff you just want to install some packages you can really use app package manager and it's really handy tool it really helps you a lot of time in saving a lot of time and most importantly how to update your packages and upgrade your operating system that is the most important thing that you really help out because in windows we are really habitual of getting the auto updates in linux you will not get it like you will have to manually enter every time because uh, linux doesn't have the feature of auto updating itself you really have to manually do it on your own so and yeah that's pretty much it so i'm also linking down a pdf of all the list of all linux command that you will ever really need so that i know this video was not something like fancy thing or that kind of thing but this is really more than enough to get started in the linux world and i hope you like this video make sure you share this video on every platform and subscribe to this channel we will really make sure to push up more content on this platform so stay connected and have a nice day